Hello, wonderful people of the internet. Welcome back to the Drum Sample Shop YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new here, you're very welcome. My name is Jake, and today we've got a very practical, but hopefully extremely helpful video for you, all about tempo correction of loops and various other things. So we may as well just get straight into it. Okay, here we are inside Pro Tools. Now this first method of tempo correction is about as simple as you can get. We're not gonna use any plugins. We are simply gonna chop this clip up and make it fit the grid. Okay, so this is this is simple as it gets. You know, 101, no frills, no spills. We're just gonna do what we can. Um, so we've got this clip here, which is from the Dusted Pack. Um, you can see the title of it here. Um, and it's at 96 BPM, this loop. Okay, so we're gonna have a little listen to it. Now the good thing is we're, we are able to make this fit the grid simply by chopping and changing things up because if you've got a loop that has quite a lot of complexity to it, maybe multiple parts of a drum kit, multiple percussion elements that are all happening at the same time, you're probably going to find it difficult to chop that loop up and make sure every element of the loop is in time you know, with your grid, with your track. Um, but because this is pretty simple, um, it's basically just a kick and snare uh, loop. We can chop up all the bits we need to because they're spaced out, they're not overlapping each other, nothing's happening at the same time, they're all separate. So in reality, all I'm going to do is I'm going to find the beginning of each transient and I'm just going to make a chop and then we're going to work out exactly how we make it fit to the grid and the tempo of this session. For those of you who want to know, this Pro Tools shortcut is Command E to cut the audio. Okay, so we've made our cuts at the beginning of every hit. And what we're going to do basically now is we're going to work out where those hits need to land on the grid so that they fit with this tempo and not the tempo of the loop. So the loop is at 96 BPM, our session is at 120. So let's have a little listen to the loop and then listen to the click and then see if we can work that out. Okay, that's the basic groove. This is the click. So instead of it being like this, we're looking for it to go kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, that kind of vibe. So let's work. I'm going to change the grid quickly. It's going to eights. Okay, so. That, I believe, is now on the grid. <laughs> I believe now that is that groove at 120. Brilliant. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our second method of tempo correction. This one involves opening up a workspace window. So we're gonna open up a workspace window here and I've found the this 90 BPM loop one which is in the US, UK, and then the UK subfolder, um, and this loop here, which I found, which I think is great. Oh, Payden, so good. Um, <laughs> it's one of my favorites, honestly, is. Um, so now this is getting simpler by the minute. So what we're going to do now is, in, in this workspace window here, you've got on the top bar, you've got this little, looks like a little metronome sign, okay? Now, this is Elastic Audio, which is a great feature in Pro Tools. Now I'm going to click Elastic Audio, that means it's turned on, okay? And I'm going to actually right click and go to Rhythmic, okay? So now it's highlighted in Rhythmic, it's focusing on tempo and maybe not tuning or anything like that. So now, if I have it off, this is the tempo at 90 BPM. Now if I put Elastic Audio on, it's now going to sync it automatically to the tempo of this session, which is 120. And so we're hearing it like this. 
<clears throat> love that so now it's actually just super simple as long as that elastic audio button is highlighted in green all we've got to do is we're going to hold on to that drag it all the way over into our tracks list drop it into tracks list and it's arrived in our session right there i'll minimize this one this new green track it still says 90 bpm loop one but it is now at 120 because it's dragged in with the elastic audio applied okay so here we go you'll hear it sync with the click outstanding okay now we're going to look at our third and final method of tempo correction um, now this method is actually just as easy as the elastic audio um, but some people say they find some better results with it maybe at the extremes where you might be making a particularly slow loop or clip a lot faster or something that's a lot faster making it a lot slower okay so what we're going to do is we've got this uh lame gazelle loop from the indiana tones pack uh, it's at 70 beats per minute um and this is how it sounds on its own nice nice and laid back um, so I'm gonna highlight this clip and now I'm gonna go up to audio suite and I'm gonna go to pitch shift and down to X form this is the plugin that we're gonna be using so here's the X form plugin um, here are the settings as they are so what I'm gonna do is, is it sim it's gonna be as simple as entering the tempo that it's currently at this clip so I'm gonna highlight the tempo here original 70 is automatically going to change the processed tempo however don't worry about that i'm going to click that one and we want to go to 120 so we click 120 and we can now i mean i can press play and you can hear the original and then if i press this little speaker button on the bottom left we're going to get a preview of what the processing on this plugin is going to do Brilliant. So I hit render and you'll see the audio clip in the session straight away. As easy as that. Okay. So now we can get a little preview with the click. Brilliant. As simple as that. Three methods, tempo correction. Well, there you have it. I hope that really helps. Uh, I hope you've learned something new that you can implement into the music that you're making. Uh, make things a bit easier, save a bit of time, uh, do things you didn't know you could do. Um, if you are new here, we would love it if you could like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, once you have subscribed, you can hit the bell icon so that you get notifications every time we put out a brand new video so you don't miss us. Um, but otherwise, we will see you in the next video.